working here late afternoon and it's kind of fun to have the sun coming through the canvas. This is one of the last warm days I think I'll have to be able to paint outside, but uh, uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, it also shows me with the light some of the detail that I can still fit in with black and that. So I brought out a little tiny tube of black this time because I just want to use it as a, a mixer as I slowly go through and start giving definition to the Tetons. I just want to show you here, I've got my dabs. I have quite a heft of white, some black, and I have four different shades of blue that I'm going to uh, use. Plus, there's a little bit of this still wet, so I'm just going to piece it all together. So hopefully now you're kind of getting to see a little bit of where I'm going with this. Um, just, you know, again, kind of just seeing where the light and shadows are. Not freaking out too much about the fact that, you know, every so often I hit the bird wings or feathers. Not worried about that because I know I have a little bit of outlining to make them pop. I keep diluting my brush. By diluting, I'm getting, whoa, getting stuff running all across the birds. But uh, even better than that, what I what I'm getting is the, the little contrast. Uh, see how that all mixes a little bit. Colors now start becoming interesting. Okay, so you're now getting kind of a good idea where I'm going with this. Uh, I've pretty much determined my snow line. I want to have it basically taking in as much of the birds as possible. That's the idea. The reason being is that this whole background is going to just keep getting muted as I go along. I'm going to be bringing in just a little bit more white across it. I'm gonna give it a chance to, to dry. 